Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today we're going to watch ABBA's Eurovision winning performance from 1974. They're singing Waterloo. And if you guys love the musical Mamma Mia, then you definitely know this song. So without any further ado, let's give this a watch. I don't think I've ever actually seen ABBA perform. I think I've probably seen snippets, but I haven't actually seen them perform properly. ABBA. <laughs> Oh wow, so it's actually changed a lot. Oh yeah, Eurovision's gone up massively. Wow. <laughs> Eurovision's changed, just completely different. And did surrender. Oh yeah. <laughs> Already, this doesn't feel like a song that would win Eurovision. Obviously, it's a very catchy song, but it's not, it's not crazy. Eurovision is known for its outlandish and craziness. Love yeah, I love it. Also, let's talk about their costumes for a second, because... They just look like they're from two completely different time periods. She looks like a... Like a <laughs> she looks like a cowgirl. And she looks like she's about to friggin' set sail somewhere. It's quite awkward. And it's like staring at each other as they're singing. My only chance is of course this song wins though. This song's iconic. Oh, they're on a very small platform though. Oh, nice guitar. Wow, that really could be used as a weapon. Can you imagine smashing someone with that guitar? Bloody hell. I'm not gonna lie though, compared to the Eurovision of nowadays, nothing's really happening. He's having a whale of a time. <laughs> this has actually made me intrigued to see more Eurovision from back in the 70s. Oh my days, even he's wearing heels. Yeah, there we go, well done Abba. Eurovision, is this something only the rich people could go to back in the day? All the audience are just wearing like black suits. Compared to now, everyone just goes crazy. They got their flags, they got their country's colours on. There we go, ABBA. Love it. Ma all of them matching their footwear. I don't know. That wasn't what I was expecting, to be honest. I know, in my mind, I was kind of expecting something similar to like Mamma Mia, where they're all running around, dancing, kind of chaotic. I didn't expect just the two girls to just stand on the stage and sing. Obviously, what I've seen, um, probably what you guys have seen, is like as it's developed over the years. But this is where it's originated from. So, to be honest, we can't say anything bad. Overall, Brilliant. And if I'm correct, this Eurovision was in Brighton. Uh, yeah, please like the video and subscribe down below. Uh, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Farewell, my friends.